Hello, Rob here, from the Internet Freedom Team at Freedom House. Recently, I did a tutorial for you on how to install and use the Tor Anonymity software. Now, that tutorial was for the full installation of Tor on your computer, but sometimes we're not at our computer and we still want to protect our privacy. So what Tor has done is put together a browser bundle. And what the browser bundle does is allows you to run it off of a USB flash drive. So no matter where you are, if you're in an internet cafe, if you're at your friend's house using their computer, that you'll still be protected because you can run a browser right off of the flash drive that uses the Tor software. So with that in mind, let's get started. So one of the great things about the Tor browser bundle is that it doesn't require you to configure anything. You can put it on your computer, open it up, and it goes right away without any sort of input from you whatsoever. It's small, it's portable, and it leaves no trace whatsoever on the computer that you were working on. So we're going to be putting this on a USB flash drive so that we can take it with us wherever we go. But the first step in doing this is to actually get the software. So we're going to open up our preferred internet browser. And for me, I'm using Mozilla's Firefox, as usual. And in my last tutorial, I told you to go to www.torproject.com. And it redirected me to the correct site. The correct site is www.torproject.org. OK. So once we're here, it's the same website. We're going to go to download. Over here, on the first choice on the left-hand side, it's the Tor Browser Bundle. You're going to click that. And it's going to ask you to save the file. As with the last tutorial, you're going to save the file, but I already have it. So I'm going to cancel this out and go get my file. Okay, downloads, Tor Browser Bundle. Okay, here's the file. Now this is a self-extracting file. All you have to do is double click and it will immediately, uh, well, it will ask you where you want to extract the files to. This is where you want to insert your USB flash drive. So I'm going to do that now. And you should see, in a second, the little icon down here in the lower right hand corner telling me I've connected it. And I'm going to open the folder to view files. Now I don't need this for the moment, so I'm going to minimize it. And I'm going to double click the Tor IM browser. Run it. Now it's going to ask you where you want to extract it to. You're going to click here on the dot 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 and then find your flash drive. So mine is removable disk. I'm going to click OK and let it extract. OK, so once the files are done extracting, then we don't need this window open anymore, so we're going to minimize it, and we're going to go back to our USB flash drive. Now you'll see the Tor browser folder. Double click this, and then this is the only file you need to worry about. You're going to double click the Start Tor Browser button. Now what that's going to do is it's going to open up the user interface and immediately start connecting to the Tor service. Uh, and it'll, it should all happen pretty quickly. So we're going to double click that. Now down here in the taskbar, you'll see the Tor icon pop up right here. Now you can right click that and do anything from there that you could do on the user interface. So this is going to connect to the Tor network and then it should pop up a browser. And the browser will tell us that we've been connected to Tor. Right here is the green onion and the icon down here is green as well. Okay, so here's the self-contained Tor browser. It's a Firefox browser. Now you might be wondering about the thing that just popped up here. This is Pigeon. I'm going to be going over Pigeon in a different tutorial. So I'm just going to close this for now and I'm going to close it completely here. So the website that you're automatically redirected to once you've connected to the Tor network is check.torproject.org. And what this website does is tell you whether or not you're connected to the Tor network and if it's working. And as you can see in big green letters here, we are using Tor and it's working for us. Now down here you can see the IP address that appears to anybody who's looking at my connection. Now obviously I'm hoping that's not my real IP address. I'm pretty sure it's not. But to show you how self-contained this program is and that it's protecting me as I surf the web, I'm going to show you 
uh, check.torproject.org on my web browser that's actually installed on my computer, the one I use to download the software. So I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to go to check.torproject.org. And as you can see, in big red letters, with the big x out onion, is, sorry, you are not using Tor. So with this, I'm not protected. And you can see here, oh, this actually is my real IP address. I could check that on my computer, and it would be the same number. Now, obviously, because I'm trying to protect myself, I'm not going to show you my IP address, but you can see that the numbers don't match up with the numbers on the self-contained browser. So, I'm being protected no matter where I go if I have this on my USB flash drive. Now, you may be wondering, well, how do I stop this service? It's very simple. All you have to do to turn off Tor and to close out the control panel is close the browser. And both this and this will disappear. And that's all you have to do. And then to open it up again, all you do is go in and double click Start Tor Browser, and it'll start the process all over again. That's all there is to being safe while you're mobile. Take it to your favorite internet cafe, your friend's house, your relative's house, anywhere, and you'll be sure to be protected. And I hope this tutorial has been of some help. Good luck.